Okay, so here's a quick one for you to have a bit of a play with. How you can use just one adjustment layer to color grade your images. First of all, I'll use this image here, which is a portrait I took inspired by the Seven Kings Must Die series on Netflix. This is a portrait of a guy I know called Steve, who has just the look I was after for the picture. The only thing he didn't have was the plaited Mohican hairstyle, but that was added after the photo shoot during the editing using generative fill in Photoshop. So for this image, I want to add the teal and orange look that is used so often in TV and film. There are so many ways I could do this, but for now, I'm just going to add a selective color adjustment layer. By default, this will be set to reds, but we don't want that because with something like a portrait, that is going to predominantly affect the skin tones. Instead, what I'll do is change to neutrals, which will now affect the entire image. Now on the left hand side, we have cyan, magenta, yellow, and of course black. And although it's not written there, on the far right would be the opposite colors. So the opposite of cyan would be red, opposite of magenta would be green, and opposite of yellow would be blue. Now the weird thing is that if I wanted to add more cyan, you would think by the way it's designed that I would drag over to where it says cyan, but I actually drag the opposite way, I drag to the right. It should really look like the properties in the color balance adjustment layer here, but there you go. So let's just say I want to add some bluish tone to the image, which contrasts against the warm skin tones of Steve for that classic teal and orange look. I'll go to the cyan slider and drag to the right to add more cyan. I'll then go to the yellow slider and drag to the left to add more blue, the opposite of yellow. You'll notice as well that I have absolute selected just here. About there looks fine. I can always adjust this later if I want. Now I can also increase contrast by going to blacks and just moving the black slider a touch. You can see it doesn't take much to increase it. Now although we've added that cool blue cast onto the image, we've also lost the warmth of his skin, so we need to bring those warm tones back. Now skin tones are mainly found in the reds, so I'll go to the reds area here, and then just start to add in the opposite of what I've just done. So I'll take the cyan slider and drag to the left to reduce it, and so add in some red, the opposite color. I'll add some magenta, and also some yellow. So now we get this. We keep the blue tones, but we now have some warm skin tones to contrast against it. Now we can take this a step further to bring back more of the original skin tones if we want, and still keep the cool blue tones intact. I'll go to the FX icon at the bottom of the layers panel and choose Blending Options. In the Blending Options properties here, we have the Blend If section in the middle at the bottom, which by default is set to grey. I'm going to change that to red so that this targets the skin tones. Now I want the skin tones from the layer beneath this one, the underlying layer, to show through. So that's the section I'm going to use, underlying layer. And we can see the reds are over on the far right. So I slowly drag this slider over to the left, and as I do, you'll see more of the original skin tone showing through. Now I have to be careful not to go too far, otherwise other areas will start to come through too, from the layer at the bottom, so about here is fine. To improve how this looks and blends in, I can hold down the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows and click on the marker that I've just moved, and that splits it in half. I can then separate the two to control how the skin tones from the layer below blend in. Now if I zoom in and show you the before and after, you'll see how that has added a few more skin tones in. And that's all there is to it, so have fun experimenting with it on your own images, like the video if you got something from it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.